Gun violence remains a major issue plaguing the city of Durham. And today we have new information about how many guns were seized last year. So DPD says that last year they took 734 guns off the streets. That's an increase of more than 100 from 2020. Now, by comparison, last year the city of Raleigh uh, seized 831 guns and Winston-Salem confiscated 1,129. So how are people getting access to these illegal guns in the first place and what is being done to stop it? CBS 17's Crystal Price digging deeper to find out. In the last 10 days in Durham, eight people have been shot. They are just high school kids. This includes a teenager shot at a gas station across from Hillside High School last week. How, how are these young people getting guns? and the quadruple shooting over the weekend at an apartment complex where two men were killed. But authorities are doing what they can to get these guns out of the wrong hands. Last year, between Durham Police and the Sheriff's Office, almost 900 guns were taken off the street. But Mayor Pro Tem Mark Anthony Middleton says it's disturbing that this many illegal guns were on the street to begin with. We've got a serious problem. According to this new data from Durham Police, more than 400 firearms were stolen in Durham last year. That's a 16% increase from the 359 guns stolen in 2019. And more than half of the guns stolen in Durham last year were taken from vehicles, many of them unlocked. A gun is an extremely easy thing to get. Uh, you can get a gun easier than an iPhone. Middleton says the caliber of the weapons being used in Durham shootings are also getting larger. Last year we had less shootings, but more people died. So the, the incidents are even becoming more violent. Folks that are pulling the trigger are, are firing many more rounds per incident. We are very much hampered as a city. At the city level, Middleton says they'll do what they can. One thing he's pushing for is to develop programs that keep young people from picking up these guns to begin with. We can do uh, fun programs and, and initiatives that will make guns and gangs and violence a less likely choice for our young people. In Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News. Well, State Representative Marsha Mori from Durham says the next year she will be filing a bill that requires a safe storage of firearms and another that will allow law enforcement agencies to destroy any type of seized guns. Right now, agencies in North Carolina can only destroy guns if they are unsafe to use or if it no longer has an identification number.